Hey, what up? This is Dirty. So, finished two new knives recently. Um, these are actually both for one guy. Um, he actually bought the taco leg from me too, so he wanted two dive knives. He always goes and dives and does fishing and stuff like that, so he asked for two of my dive knives. One of them he wanted to match the taco leg, so or the taco leg handles, so I made one like that. And the other one he said he wanted a um, tiger stripe, but just so happened I had some Bengal tiger stripe in my inventory, so I figured I wanted to check that out, so I used that one instead. I think it came out pretty, pretty groovy. I would say that's what the description I would use of it. But first, let's check out the dive knife with the taco, taco leg pattern kind of thing on it. So, spear point hollow grind. Some N680 nitrogen stainless steel should work really good for this dive knife. Um, the N680, if you're not familiar with it, it's a uh, nitrogen stainless steel, so. They use nitrogen to replace the carbon so that um, it has, you know, very good corrosion resistance. Of course, we got the dirty logo, Kitanai. And we got some OD green, black, G10 with the toxic green liners. So those always pop out just awesome. Titanium pins, titanium tube for the lanyard. And I did kind of like a symmetrical pattern for this one. Um, I like the symmetrical pattern on this dive knife just because it kind of matches the knife itself since it's pretty symmetrical. And got those random holes. Kind of give that taco leg look. Overall length is on both of them is nine inches. Got about a four inch blade on there. Super sharp. And for these, it's something a little different than the last taco. I'm um, not taco. A uh, dive knife. Um, on the lanyards, I put a little whistle, um, just in case. Say if you're, you know, out in the water and maybe you get separated from your dive partner or whatever. Sometimes it's hard to yell. Um, a whistle would be a lot easier. So I just threw that on the end, so you can, you know, alert your buddy or whatever. And then got a little bead on here to adjust it so you can adjust the size so you don't lose it. And also, um, this is one of my good friends. So uh, he asked if, um, I asked him if he wanted anything custom on it. So he wanted this put on it. Um, squid em. Um They call octopus here squid. <laughs> I don't know, just kind of a thing they do. So that's what he wanted. I think it came out looking pretty cool. Yep. And of course, got a sheath with it, Kydex. Um, I just didn't put the tech lock on it yet, so they're gonna. With all my knives, I put the tech lock belt clips. I just like the way they work. So far, they, you know, they're really good. Um, and of course, there's holes if you wanted to, you know, put some paracord through there, and, and then you got different mounting options. It's the second one, and you can see the handles. Like I said, man, it's groovy. So it just reminds me of like a shirt from the 70s or something like that. But it came out pretty cool. This handle's a little bit beefier. Um, I just left it that way. I kind of, I'm kind of still experimenting with these dive knives. You know, I don't really, you know, I notice a lot of dive knives have thicker handles. So I want the little fatter one on this one and see how they like it. Same thing with this one. Got the dirty logo on one side. And the squid them on the other side. And it's that Bengal tiger stripe. So you got black and white, uh, black and orange, and then that white in there too. Looks pretty cool. This one, when I, I went with that kind of Anzo pattern, kind of um, opposite for each of these little divots. Came out pretty cool looking, I think. Same thing with this one, you got titanium um, pins and tube and an orange lanyard with a black and orange emergency whistle on there too so and of course a sheet for this one tech lock on there the sheet came out a little bit wider um, so yeah 
they're all a little bit different what can I say but uh, I just wanted to make a real quick video um, if you subscribe to me on Instagram you might have seen that I just got a, bought a bunch of stuff back from Waterjet so hopefully pretty soon you're going to see some folding knives coming out um, and also some other little random things I've been working on so definitely going to be busy but I'll try to keep you guys updated um, check out my site every once in a while I'll be putting everything up on there that's dirtyknives.com and also um, you know if you're looking in for knives and stuff like that there's always um, Gear Bastion check them out I mean not only knives I've seen like slingshots a bunch of stuff on there so you know if you want to look around at a lot of custom makers got a bunch of good stuff over there so of course you know Gavco he's on there so and um, CKC Knives um, that's the two guys I subscribe to on there um, so I'm always getting updates on when they put new stuff out so definitely a cool site check it out but other than that like I said I'm gonna hop back in the shop hopefully hopefully I can finish some knives today I really want to get one of my folding knives you know just so that I can see how it's all gonna look together um, but you know we'll see anyways I hope you guys are having a good week this is dirty shoots <laughs>